Hey Tasha, do you know what day it is? Basset Hound Beach Day. Basset Hound Beach Day. Who doesn't know it yet? Should we go surprise him? Yeah. Let's go. rolled up to Rosie's Dog Beach in Long Beach for the Basset Hound Rescue of Southern California annual meetup. And we've already seen some Basset Hounds. Now these are elusive creatures not often seen in the wild. Look at this! Oh! Right, where should I park? Right here? Some dogs got in the way of the towel here. <laughs> Well, that was the Basset Hound Beach Day. What do you think, honey? My face hurts from smiling. Oh boy, proud mom? Oh yeah, Boone had so much fun. He was so tired. <laughs> he fell asleep sitting up when we finally sat on the blanket. We, I mean, were there 400 Basset Hounds? Oh no, but at you least 100. So? I don't know. They're, the Basset Hounds were endless. All right, well, there isn't much to say about Basset Hounds. It's, it's more of a visual game. They're stubborn, uh, short little creatures. Uh, and guess what? We are about two months out from the wedding. How, about, how does that sound? Oh my gosh, I'm so stressed. Two months out from the wedding. Are you gonna feel stressed or relieved? What are you gonna feel when it's done? Probably <laughs> relieved. Probably refreshed. Planning was so easy though. Babe. 
the tasting. There's really not much else we need to do. Tosh is designing some gift bags. What would you do differently if we were starting from scratch? Would you pick the same location? Yeah, I think the location is fine. I think we got pretty lucky. We wanted 50 RSVPs. We're at like 53, which is perfect. We're at, uh, is it 53 exactly? I think it is 53. If you don't count kids, we're like dead on 50. Dead on 50. Dead I think on. so. I'll double check my app, but I think it's 50 adults. And Three you, children and us. You gotta invite what, 200 to get to 50? Yeah. I mean, it's just right. wild. I mean, including all the kids and everything. I mean, everybody. I wonder if there's a wedding where people, where if if 25% normally say yes, but if that's 50%, we're bankrupt. You have to, you have to like know, it's a very tough budgeting game. Yeah. To know like who's coming, who's not. Because if too many people say yes, it's like, oh boy. Oh boy, that's gonna cost some money. But we're, we're looking pretty good. My guess is somebody's gonna cancel on us that said they weren't. We don't know who that is. Don't be that person. I hope that's not the case. I don't want anyone to I just think them. logistically something- I think most something... people have booked their trips. So I think, you know, if you're RSVPing, yes, then you're obviously booking your flight and your, your hotel as soon as possible. And so the only thing that would potentially cause people to have to cancel us, then it would be like if they got COVID or monkeypox or something. And even then, uh, you know, it's one of those things. I feel like if you can travel, you can travel. But um, I think we both have some surprise people coming that we weren't expecting, cousins, uncles, things like that, which is great. Um, my fitting is next week for my outfit. Wait, are you are you nervous about your wedding dress not coming in? Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely nervous. <laughs> <laughs> is there like a tracking number? Um, you got to get a tracking number. I haven't received any tracking you're, number. You're supposed to receive your wedding dress in August, but that's only going to give you six weeks heads up in case something's off with it. I, so. You know what I'm actually very nervous about? Nervous about it being too small. Because the day that I had my fitting, I think just because we had been out and about drinking and all of that in Chicago, I feel like I was like very <laughs> dehydrated and tiny because the measurements that she took of me sounded smaller than my typical measurements. Well, we'll and I only know it. my typical measurements because Job, but my pro my worry is we're gonna be in Mexico four days before the wedding, which is four days of me eating, drinking, and general you know debauchery. So I'm worried about fitting into a size. I feel like it would be nice if the wedding was day one, and then we could just fully let ourselves go. And we have to not get sunburned too. That's and we have to not get sunburned. Don't yeah. get sunburned. And not in in, in and it, is a dog gonna come? We don't know yet. What do you think, Boone? We don't know. He's invited. He's on the list, but we're gonna wait and see. If anybody has any contacts at um, Alaska charter jet companies, yeah. If anyone wants to privately a... fly us to Cancun, <laughs> that would be appreciated. Um, I, I put Boone coming at seventy-five percent. I think if he's up for it, that he's gonna be a welcome addition. But we'll have to see. Stay tuned. We'll have to see.